It says Carl. What in the world is that? I mean, they've never seen anything like it. Whatever you prefer. And Mr. D, Jason's behind the camera today. Are you being mysterious again? <laughs> I am. I was, uh, I'm thinking about Mrs. D and Mrs. Mr. D. Mr. D. But Mr. S. Mr. Stan. Yeah, Mr. Stan Lee's here. And we are really, really, really excited about this one. We have this 1978 Ford F-150 Ranger Lariat trailer special for you. We bought it from the original owner and this truck is as original as it gets and as cool as it gets and it happens to be our 300th bring a trailer auction and you can see stanley's even interested in it he's yeah all he's about. like i'm gonna be in the 300th video he's all about it so yeah this is our 300th auction hard to believe I know, that's really crazy. Yeah. And Bring a Trailer's been good to us. I remember when we got to 100 mm -hmm. and was like, that is nuts. That was cr that was like beyond. We couldn't right. believe it. Then 200 and now we're at 300. And it's cool that you're doing number 300. Yeah. And yeah. we're doing a one of our cars, super original truck. Mm -hmm. It's exciting, actually. Would not have dreamed that because, um, I mean, I've, all, I've been with our business for 19 years, just like you. But uh, I wasn't really buying and selling along with you. I was doing other stuff. And so I've gotten into the buying and selling myself. And I really, really, really love the Ford truck. So this was a nice pick. So it's kind of fun for it to be our three. Yeah. Minutes. Yeah, it's really cool. It's really cool. And the history of this thing is oh, ridiculous. Wait till you hear it. And wait till you see under the hood how original this thing is. Like, you, you won't believe it. There's some stuff that even you have never seen selling probably 1400 cars over the year under the hood there's some stuff that you were like this is so original i've never seen this much originality so yeah. that was pretty cool yeah um so anyway so we're with denworks and it's d-e-n-w-e-r-k-s so you can visit us at our website denworks.com um we buy sell and consign so if you want to work with us we'd love to work with you we don't like smoke and mirrors. We like to present things as they are. We want people to know what they're buying. And uh, we hang out on Instagram a lot, so you can find us there if you wanna see stuff that we're getting because we get excited. And so we'll normally post photos of cars and trucks and motorcycles that we get. And we have a podcast, so if you wanna talk about that. Yeah, you can check out our podcast. It's called No Reserve. You can check it out on Spotify and Apple, um, just anywhere. But we talk about, uh, Stanley told me to say this. We talk about Stanley. Yes. We talk about marriage. We talk about cars. We have a little farm. Mm -hmm. uh, we just talk about everything. A lot of a lot of fun things. How we got into the business. Mm -hmm. um, it's all kind of entangled together. I had someone ask us the other day, like, wanted to come by and pick our brain. How do we do this? Because they're kind of interested yeah. in it. And I said, go listen to our podcast. You can hear the good and the bad and mm -hmm. ugly and you know, just the in, ins and outs of different things. And you have to mix regular life with it too. Yeah. And mostly so check it out. we're car and truck nuts. So you'll get to see a little snippet of our life. And um, so this one being number 300, we, we debated what car or truck was going to be 300. But this just made sense because, like I said, we purchased it from the original owner. It was originally bought at Skyline Ford in Salem. We live in Salem too. And we purchased it from them just a few months ago. And the gentleman who owned it, just a very, very nice family. And he drove it through all the years. And he, this truck was known around town because there wasn't another one like it. So people kind of knew where he was at because it's, a, it's an eye-catching truck. So we're going to do a walk around front to back um, so that we can show you all the ins and outs. 
of the truck. So starting at the front, you can see that, you know, the chrome is in pretty good shape. It does have, the paint is not perfect on this thing. I'll tell you that right from the get go. I really love that it's so original because you can see just over the years, the use of it. And the gentleman who owned it loved this truck and he drove it. And the, the his wife told us that it was garage for most of the years of its life. So that's why the paint's in such good condition. And you can see there's some rock chips here on the front. So I'll point out just some of the stuff that I see some of the imperfections um, in the paint. I think it just has a really cool, like there's some little touches of patina and there's, you know, some paint chipping and stuff, but I don't think it takes away the look from this truck at all. You've got paint rub through right here, classic patina look. Um, there's some wear around, I don't know if, do you call that the gasket, the trim? The yeah, trim. it's a little bead in there. The bead in there, so you can see that that's a little bit worn, works fine. There's a rock chip in the windshield. We didn't mess with that because it's not, um, cracked or anything like that emblems look good it's got the original hubcaps on it and the tires 2005 is the date code on them and they're p235 75 r15s and they're toyos as you can see and that's true all the way around tires all match and everything um this thing has, we did touch up a couple of areas on the paint that we wanted to tell you about, uh, just because it's important that you know um, what that is. So you can see there's no rust, rockers look in good shape, but right here, there was a little indent. And so we touched up the paint, fixed that area. Again, I, it would be hard to tell, but we're gonna tell you like it is. You can see some of the paint rubbed through on the door. And this, actually, this is something that Jason pointed out. We're pretty sure this is from the arm leaning out the window all those years. Has to be. There's no other reason for that. Stanley so, said it was his dog. Hanging, <laughs> yeah. hanging on the window. Probably so. Stanley, we don't see any claw marks. Come on. <laughs> just stop. And, I mean, this truck is in just such good shape. There's no rust. It just has its use from the years and um, the gas doors look good. I do love these. I think these just give a great look to the truck, the, the tie downs. And then original hubcap on the back. There's the other gas door right here. I'm trying to keep my shadow out of it. It's a beautiful spring day. Yeah, it's really nice out. Really it's nice. a short t-shirt day. Get it? Uh, it is for me all year round though. Yeah, that doesn't matter. And then coming around to the back, similar condition. You can see some of the paint rub through, some of the wear. I love this color combo. Oh, and the Marty Report. I'm gonna talk about this thing in the auction 100%, but the Marty Report, um, I'll have to look at the number. I think it's one of 246 with this paint, paint coats. One of one. It's only one, the only one from this year with these paint and trim coats. Yeah, so, that's so um, cool. That is amazing. When I got the Marty report, I couldn't believe it. So very few that were the tangerine and Wimbledon white. And then on top of that, the package that came with it, the only one yeah. out of that year. It's just so, it's so cool. So you have trailer special emblem here. Back bumper is in great shape. It looks really, really good. And Jason's just showing you again some of the paint. The bed is in good condition as well. Um, you can see paint rub through along, but it's in it's really in relatively good shape. It's not it's what you would expect. It's not super mashed up or you know crazy dented or anything like that. And then the um the gasket along the back window it's got some cracking along the edges so you should see that but overall <laughs> this truck i just fell in love with it as soon as i saw it and i have loved having it around the shop and driving around drive street yeah you can see the tailgates in good shape and it also had a canopy on it Yes, for years. that's true. Which mm -hmm. kind of explains like he didn't haul a bunch of mm -hmm. stuff in here. 
Yep, and then coming around this side, original hubcaps, really similar condition on this side as well. And then got your storage area underneath, which is such a nice feature, nice and clean in there. You can totally put your toolbox in there immediately. And then similar paint rub through, kind of some patina on this side. There, just no rust. I mean, this thing is just amazing. Thank that you. was a bad boy, it didn't. You, she, you a, like it a certain way, <laughs> and here I failed. This is a truck. You got to shut that door. Right. There is no, there is no gentle shutting about it. You're, you're gonna shut it like you would shut a Ford truck door. Listen. So, We've been married like 28 years. Yeah. I'm still learning. Okay. okay. All right. We'll go. We'll go with it. Um, and then there is a, there's a little, there's a dent right here next to the mirror. So you can see that. Um, and then down here, you can see. This is where we really had. Good. Wait. This is, this is, yeah, this is yeah, where we had. Yeah, this side we had a little bit of paint work done too. There was a little, a little bobble down here, a little dent, and so we straightened that and fixed that. But just right here, I mean, this thing—it's ninety-eight percent original paint. Those just couple areas, we were like, we want to fix it, but we didn't want to mess with the rest of the truck because it's too cool. It's too original. Top of the cab looks amazing, and. I'm going to post a, some pictures in the auction of the floors. We swapped oh out my the gosh. carpet. You, you won't believe it. Like, you could literally eat off the floors in this Yeah. Room. I wouldn't recommend it, but you could. If I would have. We're so inclined. It was, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Like, you've never seen anything like these floors under the carpet. I mean, I'm, I've never been so excited to show pictures of the floor of a truck before. Yeah, it was, <laughs> it was crazy. It's crazy. Nicest floor I've ever seen. So we're gonna pass off and then we'll show you the lights. Jason tries not to get in the camera as much as possible. He likes to be mysterious. I realized I had a rip in the back of my pants today, but I didn't tell you. So don't rewind the video. Okay, just let it pass. All right, let's show some lights. Dang, this thing looks good in the sun. All right, markers, yep. Headlights, brights, mm -hmm. blinkers. There we go, on um, blinkers. Then I'll come around to the back. You can hear the buzz of the seatbelt light. You will wire your seatbelt in this truck because that light, that doesn't shut off until you put it on. All right, tail lights. It's hard to see, but yep, tail lights and blinkers. <laughs> I don't, um, yes, okay, there's the, sorry, it's sunny out here, so it's hard to see. Okay, passenger, yep, driver, perfect. And then reverse lights, yep, those all work. And then it's sunny out here, so it's hard to see, but license plate lights work as well so there's the exterior walk around and we're gonna we're gonna show you interior engine and do some driving so thanks for checking it out we're cruising around yeah, thanks, for cruising. thanks for cruising around with us um so we're in the the 78 ranger lariat trailer special and this thing drives amazing it's it's just a great truck like i would go anywhere in this truck i would hop in it right now and take a road trip um nice and comfortable it drives straight um it's i don't know what else to say about it other than it's just a great little truck. As soon as I hopped in it when we bought it, I was super impressed with how it drove. And um, I could just imagine the gentleman who owned it uh, all the years enjoying it with his arm out the window, just chilling. So that was kind of cool. And I did ask the original owner 
anyway, so Jason, Jason's in the passenger seat. You got heat. Like I said, the, the AC does not work. But you do have heat in the truck. The gauges work. The gas gauges do not work. The fasten seatbelt light stays on even if you have your seatbelt on. I'm seatbelted right now. And it does have the two fuel, two fuel tanks, but the gas, the gauges don't work for either one. Um, and then we're going to show you stopping so you can see. Let me just get in a good spot here. Stops nice and straight. No wheel shake, nothing like that. Brakes are in good shape. We just took care of them, so those are in good shape for you. Um, and cigarette lighter. I can't remember if that works or not. Yeah, I can't remember either. We'll find out in a second. Pops or not? Is it gonna pop yep. out? There it goes. There Let's we see. Go. Yep, so that's on. on it. No, yeah. <laughs> the other thing you didn't say. What? What did I miss? You didn't say anything about me sitting next to you. Oh yes, passenger seat. <laughs> that, that seems appropriate, but I am a little offended because you're not sitting right next to me. Yeah, here. See? Yes. Here I am. See, and I, I even got my arm. You know what this was from? <laughs> see my hand, you guys. That was from his wife's arm over there. Yeah, all the way over on the window. I forgot to say it's name. This truck's name is Creamsicle. Yes. Yeah. That was like I should have said that from the get go. But yeah. Anyways, you better hop out because we got some driving to do. Okay. Bye. Bye. I'll be back sometime. I don't know if the original owner dropped a significant other off the side yeah, of the road. Like out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Maybe not. Are you coming back? the truck before us put in a new or redid the seat a number of years ago and they got the fabric from sms so it's factory um sms auto fabrics is where they got it it does have it's got some i think it's paint right here i tried to get it off but it didn't want to come off so i just left it alone so it does have a little bit of spots but awesome shape for the seat super comfortable there's no rips or anything like that in it the back window, you should notice the belts are kind of gone in here. It does have the sliding window, which is an awesome feature. You can see that the cab light works. The headliner, really nice shape. It's a little bit saggy, um, but it's not terrible. And there's no rips or anything in it. And it's in really good shape. And then you have your, um, your visors, this one homemade fix we it's a little bit lazy we're gonna see if we can um make that a little bit stronger that was just a a fix because it wasn't staying up so that's something that we'll take a look at and then the dash is in good shape it's a little bit faded on the top here um this was this is one of those dash caps isn't it is no, it's real. This the original? No, this is the original. Um, yep. So it's a little bit faded, but there's no cracking, no nothing. Like I said, the, the previous owner's wife told me personally that the gentleman who owned this, it was garage for the 99% of its life. And so that's why it's in such good shape. And it has the really nice um, wood grain trim. The instrument cluster is in really good shape. Um, it does have AC, but the AC doesn't work. Clarion radio, that does work. And then everything's just clean in here. Super nice. And then this is a little bit sticky to open. It's nice and clean. There we go. You need long fingernails if you're driving this truck. So I recommend you let your wife buy it. And really good shape inside we we did put the new carpet in it like i said and i'll show you a photo of the floors underneath you're it's crazy it's absolutely like amazing i never thought i would say that about a truck but here we are um the door jams are in really good shape jason's showing you vins and 
that there's no rust, nothing like that. And the door panels themselves are in really good shape. They're, they're not ripped or anything, but you can see that the pockets are a little bit loose from your same thing on the passenger side. So we'll swap sides and then he can show you, he can show you that. The other thing too, I was just going to mention real fast yeah. is when we put the carpets in it, uh -huh. we went ahead and put the, uh, the door gaskets. Yes. Yes. I forgot mm -hmm. to say that. So but we didn't put these, these ones in here because mm -hmm. I couldn't find them. Yes. And they're probably so around. Door gaskets, but not the other ones. Yeah. So coming around to the passenger, um, the, he's showing you just the other side of the truck. Everything, everything is just, just such good shape in here. It really is. And then that door panel, similar condition. It's kind of, it's, we put a couple of darts in that one just to tighten it up. It's still a little bit loose. And then the bottom panel is missing a little bit, a little clip where the pockets are as well. But overall, just an amazing, amazing truck. You could totally take on a couple of these projects easy. These are projects I would take on myself and I am no shop expert. I'm not even a shop novice and I would take on the projects in this truck or just drive it as is. I mean, it's just, it's a looker. Every time you drive down the street, you're going to get noticed in this truck that's for sure so thanks for taking a look and we'll show you some more stuff Okay, let's take a look under the hood. Love this one because you get to use your arm to open it. There's a- there's You just, a, that's kind of fun. You, you said you just use your arm. The other day you did a video and you're like, mm. Bam, I, well, I was trying to be cool. The other yeah. day. Today I'm just trying to be like casual. Like, yeah, you know, you just use your arm, just car dude, Yeah. you know, that's it. <laughs> but there's a lever inside and then there's your little pull is under the hood. They're all different as I'm learning. Uh, so under the hood, like I said, so 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 super cool super original um it's got the original 460 in it and jason's gonna show you there's chalk marks under here from the factory there's stickers from the factory i mean this thing <clears throat> this thing is just as original as it comes there's a there's another there's like a stamp from the factory right here on the valve cover. There's another one right here. I did, we did grab a picture of the body buck tag. It's way, way, way back in there. So I don't know if Jason will be able to get the camera back there, but you'll be able to see a picture of the body buck tag. Um, we did do brakes. And so we did brakes all the way around on the truck. Um, they just needed attention because that's what brakes do. And otherwise, we really didn't do much under the hood. No, it's of this a truck. It's amazing <laughs> under here. The only thing that we did just to clean it, it had a lot of oil yes. on it mm -hmm. from really bad valve cover gaskets, mm -hmm. which I don't think have probably ever been changed. And what it did, though, like what you're talking about, it protected yeah. all these chalk, these yeah. you know, okay marks, the mm -hmm. stickers. We couldn't even when we got it, we couldn't even see that, and. Um, and when we cleaned it, it exposed it all. Yep. The only thing we did was paint the top of the air cleaner. We left this mm -hmm. and we put a sticker on put it. A fresh sticker. And that, and we did put valve cover gaskets on it, mm -hmm. obviously. But look at this. This is crazy. How often do you see this, this little, look at this little shield. Oh yeah. You were talking about that. This plastic shield. Yeah. Which, how often do you see that? Out there since new. Uh, usually people... <laughs> it deteriorates and falls off or someone changed something and they didn't put it back on. I yeah. mean, just all the plastics and stuff. It's, it's and crazy it, underneath here. The aprons. Oh yeah. Chalk mark right here from the factory. Yeah. The aprons are in awesome shape, like everything. And that's the stuff that when you pressure washed it off, it, you were like, I've never seen no this man. And, and we're talking someone who's, sold 1400 cars but been around 
many, many more cars. And he's like, I've never seen as much originality under the hood of a truck as this one. So, and underneath that tag back there too, you'll see it in the picture down lower. There's a big chalk mark going across. Yeah. It's ridiculous underneath it, here. It is. It's just so, if you're into old Ford trucks, which you probably are, if you're checking out this auction, this is seriously like such a nice piece. And the documentation that comes with it backs it up too. It's got um, the, the original title which will have to that'll have to change but it's got the original oregon title yeah a little tiny dude little tiny i mean i keep getting afraid to lose it because it's so small and it just the documentation with it is all stuff that was in the truck since new and this family is an amazing nice family and they gave us a ton of history about it and they've been super happy that we had the truck and have loved it and they came over to see it when it was all done and the wife of the gentleman who owned it was really, really happy. She was just so excited to see it back in its glory and excited that it's gonna go to someone who's an enthusiast, who will love the truck, who will take care of it and appreciate all this. And some of the stuff they didn't even know. When I showed them under the hood, I was like, look at this, look at all this original stuff. And they didn't, they just never thought of it that way. It was just his truck and he just drove it and enjoyed it. And so, that's been really fun too, like to be able to show them the process and they're excited to see it go to the next owner. Yeah, so. and what was cool too, they brought you flowers. They did. It they was did. so sweet. It was really sweet. Like their whole family came over and brought flowers because they were grateful, you know, to have the chance to see the truck after it was done and we got some photos and um, I'm gonna ask her if it's okay to put a photo of her and me in the auction of it because we did get some photos so i'll ask her and if i if she's okay with that then i'll th put a photo of her in it but anyway this truck is so cool so thanks for checking it out and um checking out the video I can get a ride, ma'am. Hop in. Do you mind being the passenger? No, that's fine. All right. And I, did you notice I ran? I wanted you to make think I was like a hard worker or something yeah, like that. Yeah, you're like, ooh, I got to run to get that right. <laughs> and I don't normally think of hitchhikers, only the one I've been married to for 28 years. So. That's true. That's true. <laughs> so go ahead and drive me to the malt shop. Let's do it. I'm in. <laughs>